Hi, Doug here. So I have this really unique nozzle. It is a Pohaden 250, uh, stands for 250 gallons per minute, uh, which is a ridiculous amount of water. This particular connection here is a fire hose connection. And if you notice on this side, it says not for electrical fires. They actually make special nozzles designs for electrical fires. This one's a fogging nozzle. That's what all these little nubbins here around the outside. So if you notice the color of this, it's actually, it's kind of like a bronzy color. Well, it's because it is bronze. But the center here is brass. So let me uh, extend out the middle here a little bit, which I polished up. So why would this be brass and this be bronze? Well, the higher copper content in the bronze here actually makes this a slightly harder material than the brass, and it needs to seal. So there's no rubber gasket inside here. It's just metal on metal. It's a tapered seat seal. This brass being softer, this is what seals against the bronze on the outside here to prevent the water from coming out. Why would you not use a rubber gasket? I mean, you have rubber gaskets here. Well, it's because of the flow. You need to turn off 250 gallons per minute of water shooting out of this thing rapidly. And if you had a rubber seal inside there, it would get ablated away by the water. It would just erode it away and it'd be no good seal. So you need that metal on metal. This rubber ring on the outside here, this is just okay called a bumper ring. So when you throw the hose down, it doesn't destroy the end of your bronze here hitting the ground. It's just a protector ring. And then you actually have the neural here for opening and closing. And you can see the close and open. And as you turn it, all it does is move that piece in and out. Now, you always make your softest piece, the brass here, removable or replaceable because that is your wear item. And there's a bolt down in the bottom there. And if you take that bolt out, this piece can pull out, either be remachined or relapped, or put back in with a new piece to be resealed. And then this is for your fire department connection for actually popping these on and off with a special wrench. Or hitting it with a hammer to knock it off. Uh, it both work just as well. But yeah, this is my 250 gallon per minute fire hose nozzle. Did you guys get a kick out of it? Thanks for watching. <laughs>